The LVN and RN play vital roles within the hospital setting. The role of the LVN is to care for patients and perform basic medical tasks. This may include, but isn't limited to, monitoring vital signs, assisting staff with procedures, starting IVs without medication, and also providing patients with basic comfort care. The role of the RN is to provide health care to individuals, families, and communities. They provide services to promote health prevent illness, and achieve optimal recovery for or from or adaptation to health problems. This may include, but isn't limited to, assessing patients, delegating duties to LVNs or CNAs, administering medication, and communicating with patients about any questions or concerns they may have. It was a hot sunny day in the city of Anaheim as Jacqueline Rodriguez went on her afternoon run. Unlike her usual habits, Jacqueline didn't bring or drink much water that afternoon. Because of this, her body began to suffer and she exhibited signs of dizziness, nausea, and eventually syncope. Jeanette, yes? come here. We have a female patient coming in with syncope and uh, Seems like she fell in the park. Could you please get room 100 ready? Sure. And I'll be there shortly. Okay, thank you. Before the arrival of the patient, the RN delegated the LVN to transfer the patient and also take her vital signs. Hello ma'am, you okay? Hello. Do you know what happened? I think I fell, I'm not sure. Do you know your name? Can you speak your name? Yeah. Do you know, what's your name? Uh-huh. Do you know where you are? I think I'm in my house. Okay ma'am, I'm gonna have you I'm going to put these brakes on. I'm going to have you put, get in the bed. Okay, now I'm going to transfer you now. Put your your hands on my shoulders, please. Can I count to three? We're going to go into the bed. You're going to stand up, okay? One, two, three. Okay, we're going to sit it now. Neat. Do you know where you are now? I think I'm in my aunt's house. Okay, we're gonna have to lay you down now, okay? Okay. Put one leg up. I'm gonna lift the bed up for you. I'm feeling a little dizzy. You think you could raise it up a little more? Okay, ma'am. Do you know your name now? Do you know where you are? Uh huh. Where are you? I think it's my aunt's house. Okay, ma'am. Do you know what happened to you? I think I fell or I think I ran into a bush, something like that. Ma'am? You okay, ma'am? I'm your LVN, Jeanette. So, ma'am? Huh? Do you know your name? Huh? Do you know your name? Huh? What is your name? Can you state your name for me, please? Jackie. Jackie, good job. Jackie, do you know your last name? Rodriguez? Rodriguez, yes. So I'm going to start by doing uh, your blood pressure, putting this around your arm. Do you, does it feel cold to you, ma'am? I'll put this a little higher, okay? Does it feel cold to you? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you 
still feel a little lightheaded. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be a little cold on you, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me take your radial pulse first. So you're gonna fight, you feel a little light pressure on your arm, okay? Okay, this is called the two-step method, okay? So, it will be more accurate, okay? Deflate this cuff. Okay, now I'm gonna take, take your blood pressure. Okay, your blood pressure is very low, man. Is your pressure really low? One. Oh, your blood pressure is one? Uh-huh. Okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me feel your, your radial pulse. So can you put your arm right here to your shoulder, ma'am? Okay. So I'm going to start also with your temperature. So ma'am, I'm going to have to put this in your mouth. Are you okay with that? Okay, so can you lift your tongue for me, please? Good job. Okay, let me throw this away. Okay, so I'm going to take your pulse, your oxygenation, okay? So let me have your finger, ma'am. So you like the Lakers, man? Who's yeah. your favorite player? Kobe. Kobe? Do you go to their games? Yeah. yeah. You think he's coming back next season? Okay. Yeah? Okay? Okay, now I'm taking your pole, your your oxygenation. I'm gonna hear it to you. I'm gonna hear your lungs now, okay? Do you know where you are now, ma'am? Could you open your eyes for me? Do you know where you are? Your house? No, not my house, ma'am. We're at the hospital. We're in room 100. Okay, I'm listening to your heart. Okay. So I'm gonna put your bed down now. Let me know if this is comfortable. You want to go lower or higher? Head up or down? A little higher. A little higher? Mm -hmm. Your head? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel hot? Mm -hmm. Yes? Do you want to put, okay. I'll see what I could do for you. Okay, let me put these on your forehead. Cool you off a little bit. How does that feel? Okay. Okay, does it feel better? Yeah, I'm going to put this under your, your pockets here. This is supposed to make you a little cooler. How does that feel? Okay. Okay? So I'm going to go document my your the, your vitals and your nurse, um, your RN nurse, Rose, will be with you any moment, okay? assessment on you and first let me talk to my colleague here who will be right with you. So these are her vitals. Yes. She this is patient Jacqueline Rodriguez. Her respiratory rate is pretty rapid. Her blood pressure is low. Her heart rate is really oh, high. high. Yes. 
Her temperature is 104.8. So this is kind of high. Yes. Um, her pulse oximetry, her it's really low to her oxygenation. It is low. Okay, um, I'll take it from here. Thank you very much. Hi, Ms. Rodriguez. I'm going to start to put your ID. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this a little tight. Be tight a little bit. Now I'm going to open this. I'm going to swab your hand. The alcohol swab. Okay, now you have to make a fist. And then cup your hands. Hello, Ms. Rodriguez. Well, I'm going to go ahead and have your ID. I'm going to start up and get dehydrated. Great. We'll see you back in a bit. Okay. Hello, Ms. Rodriguez. Hello. Hi, my name is Rosalvers. I'll be your RN today. Let me check your chart. Rodriguez, what happened today? I think I was running and I fell into a bush, I believe, or I'm not sure if it was grass or oh no. Are you feeling better now? Slight headache, but then I think I have a cut here somewhere. I think I'm burning okay. my face. Is your headache? Is it just in this area? Where exactly is your headache? Can you tell me? Yeah, just like here. Not really not throbbing or anything, just slight pain. Okay, um, so on a scale from 0 to 10, 0 being no pain, 10 being the worst possible pain, what would your pain be at? Can you tell me? Probably like a 2. A 2? Okay, so it's tolerable? Yes. Okay, great. And uh, what time did you get this headache? Do you remember? Um, it must have been some time after I fell. I don't really remember. Yeah, I, I see that you you were found in the park by someone. Were you? What were you doing? I went out for a run. Yeah, I usually do my <sighs> daily running. And oh gosh, okay. I have no idea what happened. After Did you that. drink water today? No, I didn't really drink water okay. today because it's it's quite hot today. So uh, it seems like your vitals show that you may have had uh, something related to maybe you not being well hydrated. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a head to toe. What that means is I'm gonna start with your head, go all the way down. And um, just make sure everything's okay, that you look well. But I can see that, um, you know, it seems like your vitals are better now. How are you doing? Probably better than before. Okay. So is it okay for me to start? Yes. Great. Thank you. I'm going to start by looking into your pupils, okay? Great. So look straight ahead for me, please, and I'm going to shine a light in your eyes. Can you look at my pen and without moving your head, can you follow it with your eyes only, please? Thank you very much. So you said you fell on this side? Yeah, to my this side. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go for any thumbs. Let me know if it hurts. I don't feel any thumbs. Just make sure you hydrate. Okay. Thank you very much. Now it looks like your tummy's fine. Is there any pain anywhere? Any discomfort? No. No. Okay. Checking to see. Is there any pain here? No. 
That's fine. Great. May I slip on your shoes? Sure. Thank you. They're tight. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're smiling. That means you're feeling better. <laughs> yeah, like I don't want them when I go running up. Oh, that's perfect. That you don't have to trip over them. Yeah, I've done that quite a few times. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad that you're feeling better. If you're laughing, I hope so. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. Let me check your legs. Let me check your pulse. Oh, good. You have a strong pulse. That's good for us. Great. Can I have you kick your leg up to where my hand is? And to the side? Great. And back and down. Same with this. Towards me. Back and down. Perfect. Can I have you lift your knee up to about where my hand is? And back down. Great. Can I make this leg, please? Back down. Perfect. Can you please wiggle your fingers for me in front of you? Great. Now sit back down and go straight up with your hands and make a T. Big T, careful there, and back. Oh, go ahead and down. Great. And this is where you fell for him. Okay, that's amazing. Good, perfect. Now, can you tell me what happened today? Can you recall what happened? Do you remember? Yeah, I remember running. And then I fell. Yeah. I don't really remember what happened after then, after that, but then I was here, so. Okay, yes. It seems like you were running and you probably didn't drink enough water today. And it's, it's a hot day and it's been for a couple of days. So, um, seems like you just had a little spell of uh, something. So, I'm going to go ahead and chart it down and speak to your doctor and we'll have you up and ready to jog again. That sound great? Okay. Good. Thank you. Let me go around. I want you to relax. And everything seems fine. Good. Just stay here nice and cool. And here's your call line. Call me if you need anything. I'll be back in about a half hour to check on you, okay? Okay. See you in a bit. As you can see, we've witnessed a case of heat exhaustion. The patient had been exposed to high temperatures for several days and became dehydrated. Our patient exhibited signs of confusion, dizziness, fainting, headache, rapid heartbeat, and high body temperature. The patient was treated with fluids, rest, and cold compresses and was eventually released. Without the proper care for both the RN and LVN, this patient may have escalated to heat stroke. As you can see, the registered nurse and the licensed vocational nurse play a crucial role within the hospital setting, 